Hi everyone, I'm Dan. I'm going to quickly show you the basics of using our new falloff plugin for Cinema 4D called Noise Falloff. So I've got this uh, grid of cloners set up already and if I s give it a, a new uh, plane effector we can quickly set this to sphere. Um, so this gives us a falloff. I'm going to make it 100% and I'm going to make it a bit bigger so it covers the whole grid. Then uh, to use noise falloff I copy this one so I keep the existing falloff in the copy then I change the shape here to uh, noise falloff drag that copy in here and now we've got a sphere falloff that's a bit noisy um, and you can change some of the settings of that here. You can change which type of noise uh, you want to use. Uh, I like to try some high scales in there for some interesting effects. Now if I go into the cloner you can see in the effectors list only the uh, one plane is actually directly affecting the cloner that's this one. The other plane is just used as a guide uh, for its falloff and we can change that to a, a cylinder or a or a, a cone and that will or any of the other shapes and that will affect uh, the falloff that our noise of uh, falloff is being based on. So noise falloff is a great way to quickly add a bit of a random element to some of the other effectors that are normally random. Um, I'm going to show you quickly with a spline effector. I'm going to first get rid of this plane, but I'm going to keep the uh, other plane which has my fall off. Uh, select the cloner again, go back to MoGraph effector, add a spline. Now I've already built my spline, so I'm going to drag that into here. I'm going to set this to fall off, drag the fall off modifier up to 100%. Then in fall off, I'm going to go back to noise fall off, drag that effector back in. So now uh, the fall off again is being based on the sphere, but a noisier version of it. And now I'm going to try these settings. Take the strength up to 100%. Change the type, uh, try Verono 3. Um, then, as I animate the weight up and down, you can get an effect kind of like we're eating away at our clones and sending them along, along the spline. So, at the end here, I'll take weight up to 100%. And at the beginning, down to zero. And when we play through, random bits of the clones go first. And we can compare this uh, fall off after the noise with the sphere fall off. I set this to sphere, take that up to about 300. You can see that's much smoother than what we've got with the uh, with the noise fall off. So you can use noise fall off to get a bit more of an organic uh, feel to some of your MoGraph effects. Okay, so that's uh, how to use noise fall off. Uh, it's available now at www.curiousanimal.tv. Thanks.